we have to continue to be bold in the Lord. <clears throat> the man of God tonight, which he spoke on three years ago, he was talking about Goliath. <laughs> Goliath and David. How David was so bold as a young man. <clears throat> he was so bold as a young man. He stood on God's word. He believed in God's word. You know, his heart was with God. No matter what occurred in his life, he stayed on God's word. He kept God's word for his life. He knew who he was, okay, in the Lord. Nobody can tell him different. And this is how we all are supposed to be. If you don't know your worth, if you don't know who you are in the Lord, you will allow certain things, people, and situations to occur in your life. I repeat. <clears throat> if you do not know who you are or whose you are, okay, you will allow certain things, people, situations to occur in your life. Disrespect in whatever form it may be. Downgrading. Many negative things in your life that you would allow because you don't know who you are in the Lord. You don't know who God is to you. You don't know what God you serve. <laughs> I serve a great God, an awesome God, amazing God. But my point is being confident, I call it confident in God it's not being stuck up, conceited or whatever. Some people may look at it as that, like it, like that way, but it's not. You just know who you are in the Lord. You know what you would not accept. You know the respect that you give others, so you want that respect back. And if they don't give it to you, they have to flee, right? Put a right in the comment. Put a heart in the comment. Put a clap your hands in the comment. You have to respect yourself in order to receive it from other people. You have to respect others. David wasn't no joke. He was a little youngster. He didn't accept none of that. He didn't play. He knew who he was. He didn't have no fear. Come on, y'all. People walking around here in fear, afraid to open up their mouth, just letting things go past their head. You know, just it's a difference of being humble and just afraid not to open up your mouth. And just letting somebody just chew you down when you should be standing tall, bold, and Lord, okay? And speak your peace. And let your voice be heard. And let not things happen. As they have been happening. If I said that right. Don't continue. To allow folks. People. Situations. Yourself being situations. Don't allow people. To continually disrespect you. Even if they feel deep down in their heart. They, they, that they are not doing anything wrong. But you know. That is not of you. That is not supposed to be connected to you. You have to let it be known. And if they don't understand it, it's okay. But they don't have to be around you. That way, you don't have to worry about the disrespect. 
You don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about lifting your voice. You don't have to worry about repeating what you said you do not allow. You will be in peace. You will be in positivity. And your life will just flow without that connection or those connections. Because it doesn't even, it don't even have to be a stranger. It could be your close one. This is why I made that video. You know, you have to reintroduce yourself to some folks because people will get you twisted. People, what they allow for them, for their own lives, they feel that you, you allow it as well or you accept it. So that's why I say you have to make it known. What you do not accept, what you do accept, in all respect, will flow. And if the respect does not flow, and it's a continuous disrespect, you have to be like David. Shut that enemy down. Be bold in the Lord. Do you, and that enemy will flee and stay gone. Enemy enemies will flee. So once again, it is time to be bold in the Lord. You have to be careful what people are feeding you, vice versa. You have to stand firm on God's word. God is not of disrespect. God is not an out of order God. And for those who do not believe that God gets angry, you need to go out and read your word. Pick up a Bible. You can get it from the 99 cent store. If you have some good, um, good eyes or some real good glasses. <laughs> but the Lord does get angry. So if the Holy Spirit is within you, God isn't within you. Go figure. Go figure. I just have to share that because that man of God spoke three years ago, but that three years ago message was for today, for me. That was nothing but confirmation for me, what that man of God spoke three years ago, but I discovered it tonight. As soon as I logged into YouTube, he popped up, and I see this man often but majority of his videos are updated but this three-year-old message <laughs> was for me today so i thank god god is good you guys learn and continue to be bold in the lord is not being disrespectful it's just making sure that you don't allow disrespect to come to you that's the whole more of the story you don't allow Fear come over to you where men, women, I say that human will try to place fear on you or disrespect you. Just seeing things from their own eyes and not caring about what you think, how you think, what you see, nothing. You know, and this is a part of my saying of. Stay true to God first. And when you stay true to God, God is not going to direct you in no wrong direction. He's not going to allow you to be disrespectful to the next. He's not going to allow you to be out of order. He's not going to allow other people to be out of order with you, disrespectful to you. And just having you hush up. Sitting down, allowing things, accepting things into your life when you know it's not appropriate. No, he's going to put inside of you to speak up with respect. He's going to allow you to have some uh in you to be firm 
what it is that you mean and getting a, across to make sure they understand because they will understand. I kid you not. Trust me when I tell you that. They will understand. So stay true to God first. And then that's when you stay true to yourself. You won't allow, since you know who God is, you know his word. You would be true to yourself. You would not allow none of this craziness that people would try to pull on you or, you know, just do these things in front of you like it's okay. Stay true to yourself. Before you can be true to anybody else. That's how I rock. That's how I roll. And if people do not understand that. Once again I say. They must flee. And when they flee. I'm going to my. To the, to the old lady saying. Baby. Don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about nothing. Continue to live your life. You're not going to miss out on that. And please believe me. You want to keep your life as positive as possible. Have great people around you. And people are being revealed every day that do not supposed to be in your atmosphere. So when God reveals them to you and he will remove them himself, don't feel bad about it. I don't care how long you know them. I don't care what kind of connections you have with them. If it ain't right, it ain't right, and God will shut it down. That's all I have to say. You guys have a great night. Great rest of the week. And remember, be bold in the Lord. Not in an ignorant way. Be bold in the Lord. Stay true to God. Stay true to yourself before you can be true to anyone else. No fear, you guys. Be like David. Blessings on to you guys. Excelling guys' arms. Good night.